Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajili. I am so excited to see you all today and I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. In today's video, we'll be making our own homemade chicken seasoning. Yes, we are going to be controlling every ingredient that we put in this seasoning. What I used to do was to um, buy my favorite brand of seasoning and I will get onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder and other vegetable powders and then dehydrate other ones that I couldn't get already dried up and blend it all up and make my own homemade seasoning. I still do that sometimes but I wanted to make it from scratch about a year ago and it came out delicious. So you can start by mixing vegetables with your favorite seasoning and know that you are controlling your MSG. Now in my homemade seasoning, I do add some MSG and I use the Ascent brand because it contains 60% less sodium. All right, so let's begin. But if you're new to my channel, I do want to welcome you. Thank you so much for stopping by. But before you leave, be sure to click on that subscribe button. I've been showing that little um, sign, so people have been clicking on it. But no, it is below it. In the description box, you will see the sign that looks like the picture that I show. Click on that and become part of this amazing sweet team. So let's get started as I take you through my ingredients. Okay, so I'll be using some parsley, scallions, onions, shallots, garlic, ginger, red bell peppers, one green bell pepper, celery, and carrots. I'll also be using two chicken breast and I'm going to skin and debone this. While I do that, I wanted to talk about MSG. Now, MSG give your food that umami flavor that you're looking for. Without that, it will just be plain old salt. I don't eat a lot of salts, so whenever I use my seasonings, it's enough for me. Now, it is totally optional, but I love to use it. Everything we do have to be in moderation. MSG will be very bad for you if you use it in excess. So I always do everything in moderation. But at the end of the day, you know what's good for you. Some people say it gives them headaches. If it's not good for you, don't use it. So omit it from this recipe. And the recipe calls for whatever you like. So yes. Next, I'm going to season with some anise powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, onion powder, chicken seasoning, and of course, my Ascent. Stir it up and set it aside to marinate while you go ahead and chop up your veggies. So I'm going to make stock with the bones. So I have my mirepoix, which is my celery, onions, and carrots. I seasoned it a bit. Add some water, cover it up, and let it simmer until you have your chicken stock for about an hour. Next, we're going to just go ahead and chop up all of our ingredients. And yes, chop them. Do not blend it because then the um, veggies will extract juices that will cause you to be dehydrating for a longer period of time. Next, I'm going to spread it out in a tray and bake it for an hour in a 275 degree oven and then lower it to 225 and dehydrate it until it is nice and crunchy like this. Then I have here some sugar, salt, more ascent, rosemary, black pepper, and turmeric for the color. We're just going to put all of these ingredients in our blender and we blend it. Once that is done, we have our chicken seasoning. All right, use whatever seasoning and spices and veggies that you like. Add more ascent, less ascent. It's totally up to you. So just look at our seasoning. It's nice. It is ready. So we're going to just keep it in this jar. It's airtight and we could keep this right in our cabinet. Yes, y'all, it is done. In my next video, I'm going to show you all how I make my 
chicken stock cube or no shrimp stock cube <laughs> all right thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you're a new subscriber welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and guys ke onamini ochemi sweete mahabotu bye y'all